Hey guys and gals, you know what today is? It's March 16th, aka it's 316 day. That's right, I thought, you know, don't worry, the remaining videos will be uploaded on the schedule starting tomorrow again, but like I said in the post, I wanted to take some time to do some bonus videos, and I thought, well, it went over so well last year, why not do another 316 day video? But this time, I'll do an actual game. Now, I originally wanted to do the uh, Battleground here, of WWE 2K Battleground. I wanted to do it in the 316 Arena, which was supposed to be released on, I believe, March 10th. Now, I'm recording this on March 15th. I go to create a new arena, and lo and behold, it's not here. So, I'm going to say this to anybody who's going to be commenting... You should have done this in the 316 arena. It was not released at the time of this recording for certain players. Don't know why that some players just couldn't get it. And if you're wondering also how I got so many golden dollars, well, there was a glitch recently a couple weeks ago. If you kept refreshing the page, you get 7,000, or I think it was like either 7,000 or 70,000 golden dollars. And I just kept refreshing. I unlocked every goddamn thing in this game for free. Thanks, 2K. You're doing a hell of a job. <laughs> so, as I said, we're going to do a 2K Battlegrounds here. We're going to do a Royal Rumble match. Like I said, I really wanted to do it in the 316 Arena. And can you guess who we're going to be doing this Royal Rumble match with? First, let me uh, select a Battleground. Um, I can't do it in the 316 Arena. We'll do it in the next best one. I really wish they had more fun gimmick arenas like the Haunted House one and the Everglades. Um, you know what? We'll, 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 leave, we'll leave it up to choice at random. Match rules. Number of superstars. Nope. We're going all the way, baby. Does that stay? Okay, good. Uh, match options. Power-ups. Oh, hell yeah. Difficulty. We're going to leave it on easy because I want to get through this real quick. Anyway. Who are we going to do it with? That's right. None other than right there. First person. On the roster, Stone Cold Steve Austin, because it's his day. Do we do it with black jeans or blue jeans? <laughs> we just got to go classic Austin, that's all. Uh, yeah, these power-ups are good. Boom, boom. Yeah. Let's rock. Let's rock. This also gives me a chance. By the way, I had to shut the music off in the game. Last time I had the music, it was a bit of a copyright strike. Almost on me. I resolved it, so I don't have that strike anymore. But still, I don't want to get a strike for uh, hearing, like, in the background, THAT'S NOT A LOVE STORY! That god-awful song they have. It's a shame we don't get to hear Austin's theme, but we can technically do it like this. Anyway, this gives me a chance to talk about WWE 2K Battlegrounds, which I've been saying in some videos, but not all. Um, I love the fact they censor Stone Cold by uh, not letting him do the middle finger at all. Instead, he's like, yeah, I'm Daniel Bryan now. Or just putting regular hands in the air. And uh, they don't let you see the other. said, we got Otis, let's rock. So, yeah. Why not talk about uh, 2K Battleground? It's, in my opinion, eh. It's not better than All-Stars. Granted, you have more matches, kinda, in this than All-Stars. Oh, get, get back in the ring. And All-Stars, because you could actually do a Royal Rumble. Hardcore match, uh, Falls Count Anywhere match, Cage match. Basically, you have some more options than All-Stars. But All-Stars has a better created character. Uh, they have um, kind of a better single player thing. This has one continuous story mode, while All-Stars has like three different campaigns you can go through. And, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's not terrible. I hate the fact that a bunch of reviewers are like, oh, it plays just like Super Smash Brothers. No. No, you, you guys have obviously never had an arena brawler in your life. This plays more akin to, um, somewhat like Power Stone, somewhat. It kind of plays like All-Stars a little bit, but not a lot. Um, yes, there are technically only, f what is it, five? Five movesets, while some superstars 
have uh, unique moves like you just saw me do that with Austin there. And uh, yeah, his stunner! Which is actually just an arc hill. Stutter there. Hilarious. But, um, it's it's just funny to me that some characters have unique moves. Like, um, like I said, I'm all for guest characters and whatnot. And they technically have two. Granted, Rob Gronkowski was part of the WWE. When uh, this game came out, he wasn't at the time. But um, you also have some basketball player. I don't know his name. It's like Dylan something. And like I said, I'm all for crossover characters and whatnot. But it's funny, he has more unique moves than half the cast in this game. Let's just uh, taunt there, get that meter up. But this is all about Austin. We gotta. Oh dear God. Mojo Raleigh. Oh God, Mojo Raleigh. Grand Metal League. Is that Eddie Guerrero? Who am I locked on to? Grand Metal League. Shows it in the corner of uh, your character icon there. Grand Metal League, go away. Eddie, you just got in here. Come here, buddy. Austin has another uh, unique move besides uh, the Spine Buster there. He has the press. Press. I can do it. But, um, like I said, the game's not terrible. It, it is. In my opinion, technically better than uh Oh, Eddie Guerrero's eliminated. Nice. Nice glitch. <laughs> Let's recover some health here. Oh, we're about to have Luke Gallows come in. Current Impact Tag Team Champion of the World. Well, one half of the Impact Tag Team Champions. Who are definitely not under AEW, who are just working with Impact and having some kind of coalition working. By the way, let's get it out of the way right now. Uh, Revolution was good. That exploding match at the end, yeah, that was laughable. <laughs> yeah, AEW Revolution was really good. That it's just that match at the end with the explosions and whatnot. Yeah, that's that's sad that that happens. Really sad. But um, I also have something planned. I believe it's in two weeks from Sunday. Not actually on Sunday, but I want to say it's like four or five videos specially planned for WrestleMania, because it's WrestleMania, you know. I know what you'll think of. Why don't you do something for AEW? Well, AEW has a game coming out soon. And I'm looking forward to it. And maybe I'll start doing that like whenever they do. What was their very first one? Was it Double or Nothing or All In? Yeah. Whenever that pay-per-view comes up, we'll start doing that. But right now, like I said, I just wanted to have an excuse to play 2K Battleground. And, uh, just, uh, talk about 316 Day and some future stuff on the channel. Get down here, you jerk! Sit down! Yeah, let, let, let's, let's throw him out the hard way. Be gone! I love that. You gotta be me. Um, really yeah, there, there's also a lot of uh, slowdown in this game. Back. Sometimes it gets really choppy. He wants me to do a submission. Who's that? Well, that's the Miz. The the Miz looks weird in this game. A lot of, a lot of the wrestlers are weird. We're saying we're supposed to. Uh, let's get a submission hold on uh, Luke Gallows here, just to get that meter up. Come on, Luke. Joke's on you! Oh, into the stunner! Uh, it says the taunt so I can get more stuff here, so... Um, those of you that want tips, because like I said, I have everything unlocked in this. Um, without having to use golden bucks to unlock everything. Because I, I, that's not what I originally did. Oh look, there's the Ethos Press. Yeah, I actually had to do it by force to unlock everything without golden dollars except for when they had the specials at like uh, TLC and whatnot. Uh, what I would tell you first is play the campaign mode. Story mode, campaign mode, whatever you want to call it. Play that mode first. Get it out of the way. You're going to get a lot of uh, battle bucks. Do not spend any of that battle bucks until you're done. Then, I want to say Go through some challenges, daily challenges. You have a whole bunch of daily challenges. Granted, 
not really that much. But do your daily challenges because you're gonna get a lot of uh, battle bucks from that too. Usually you can nap around uh, three dials. Granted, it's technically, hey, it's Christian, current AEW superstar, Christian. You'll nap a lot of battle bucks doing the uh, what do you call there again? Uh, daily challenges because every match you do. You'll get around 300, but then like certain challenges you can get up to a thousand. And every three challenges, I believe, you get a certain amount of battle bucks. Which right now, it's every time you complete 30, you get around 10,000 battle bucks. Well, since I did this animation, I usually just do no. Suck it, Miz. Oh, poor Miz. What am I saying? He had a title reign recently. That was through the ropes. Hey, it's Carl Anderson. Um, and then after doing that, um, I would say do not spend your money on any arenas. If you want to have all characters, don't spend it on any arenas. Take advantage of the, uh, the shop deals. They have usually like three items in the shop for like 16 days. That's how I was able to unlock, I think it was like five superstars in the shop. That Booker T? No, that's, uh, Xavier Woods. Nice. Technically, you only have to unlock one character. You don't have to unlock all their costumes, but you do technically. Let me rephrase that. You don't have to unlock the entire costume to use the character. You just have to unlock one costume to use the character, and then you have to unlock the other costume separate, which is a bunch of BS. I'll admit. But, um, yeah. Basically, do campaign mode. And then, uh, oh, there's the unprettier. Jesus Christ. Uh, I also suggest when you're doing like just a random mode that you're playing a couple superstars I think he has to be unlocked I think Triple H wants to be unlocked and it's funny they they um, they nerfed his taunt Triple H he now points and then does the suck it chant because people were spamming the hell out of the suck it chant so now he has a, a longer taunt basically the two other characters you want to try to just Brian matches with, with just taunt spamming as uh, Undertaker. He actually has a very short taunt. And uh, Finn Balor. Finn Balor also has a very short taunt. Like, Finn Balor's taunt is actually the shortest in the game, I believe, right now. We're gonna say Triple H, but no, no, Finn Balor actually, with his uh, two sweet taunt, it's literally the shortest one in the game. Uh, it doesn't matter how long of a match you do, you're probably gonna get the battle box well it kind of does basically you can get maximum per match I want to say uh, Jake the Snake Roberts I'm gonna say it's usually I usually get around uh, oh hey Street Fighter 5 updated I usually get around 253 battle bucks for just doing singles matches and trying to complete the daily challenges in them but um like I said those are just some tips uh, some superstars can only be unlocked in the campaign, like John Cena. Um, Sasha Banks, I think, is one of them. They can only be unlocked in the campaign. Uh, you could try to do um, King of the Battleground online, because that's how I got a lot of Battle Bucks, too. But you'll have that one dude who uses a completely maxed out creative character. And also, like I said, there's a bunch of taunt, taunt spammers, but hey. It is what it is. And also watch the program. They give out free battle bucks. Like golden bucks. Granted, it's not much. But hey. Free is free. Suck it, Jeff Hardy. So, yeah. That's all I can really say about tips for uh, unlocking things in the game. Um, if you want a character that... You want to be seeing the same thing over and over again. A good one to use is uh, Bray Wyatt. He has a signature that they have to be on the ground, and he has a standing finisher. He technically has two different types of uh, finishers. Another one that you could use. Um, damn it, Jake, you got in the way, and now this is happening. Is uh, Randy Orton, so you don't have to see the same thing, but like I said, 
characters with the three quickest taunts in the game are Finn Balor, Undertaker, and Triple H. So if you want to taunt spam, like knock the guy down and taunt spam to get your meter, be my guest. I just gave you the three characters with the fastest taunts. I'll say it again. I'll say it in the order in which their taunts are the fastest in. I'll say it goes Finn Balor, Triple H, Undertaker. And I think two out of those three are unlocked, or maybe one. I think he's going up top. Yeah, well, there goes Jeff Hardy. After all the work I did, Christian just comes out of nowhere and is like, yeah, I'm going to get that elimination, buddy. Thanks. And there comes Jake the Snake. Jake the Snake is the one that gave birth, or helped give birth to the 316 movement. Who's that, Edge? Or is that Shawn Michaels? It's uh, Shawn Michaels. I should say, as of right now, I have everything unlocked. They're still updating this game daily. Like I said, hopefully on March 17th, because like I said, this will be recording on the 15th, uploaded on the 16th, they will actually give out the uh, 316 arena like they were supposed to. And it'd be really stupid, because they update it every Wednesday, it seems. And it'd be really stupid of me to have put a 316 day video out on 317. That's why I decided to do it on 316. And I waited all the way. March 15th to see if they would release the 316 arena, but no. Even though it says on their website that they did, they have it. Some people have it, but I think they're just hackers. I might have beaten the piss out of Braun Strowman over there. Braun Strowman has no idea. Damn it, I can't reverse for the life of me. You know why? Because of that. X button to get up. Oh, Shawn Michaels, teardrop suplex! Shawn Michaels also has two different uh, finishers. He has a signature for the teardrop suplex and sweet chin music. Okay, I'm like thinking. I'm gonna see if Austin actually has some exclusive moves that aren't, uh, you know, just the. Uh, no, he doesn't. Except for the uh, Luthez press and the spine buster. Did you see that? Some people have exclusive moves listed, others don't. By the way, very disappointed in the fact that Macho Man's finisher, he doesn't even have the elbow drop as one, it's just the double axe handle for both. But hey, at least Mustafa Ali and Doink the Clown get uh, two different finishers. Oh, hey Bray Wyatt! It's the Fiend! I love the fact that he has oh the goodness. Fiend. He has Mr. Rogers Riot. And he also has a uh, Swamp Father. Or not Swamp Father. Yeah, the Swamp Leader. Cult Leader Wyatt has costumes. And when you pick the Fiend, they will call him the Fiend. When you pick the other Wyatt costumes, they will actually just call him Bray Wyatt. By the way, Bray Wyatt got, I think it was the Wrestling Observer Awards of the Year, he got nominated for the worst gimmick of the year. Outbeating, in my opinion, the worst gimmick of the year, Retribution. Why? I don't know. Maybe it's because people are tired of seeing The Fiend. Maybe they're tired of seeing Randy Orton puking up decent black boot. Maybe they're tired of Shawn Michaels coming over and punching me in the face when I'm trying to do a taunt. And we're waiting for Tyler Breeze to come in. Ooh, Tyler! Damn it, Tyler. Oh, man, Tyler Breeze, right? Yeah. Damn it, Tyler! Damn it, Breeze. Beat the bricks up. Sit down. Four on the what? Counter. Now, Michaels is over there beating the piss out of Braun Strowman. I'm over here trying to show Tyler Breeze a thing or two about wrestling. Damn it. Aha! There's my counter. What you gonna do about it? Is that using tier one power up? Not having to use tier two point up. Just trying to recover some health, you know. Trying to stay in the match. Ron Strowman now beating the piss out of Shawn Michaels. 
And Braun Strowman's very upset because I accidentally hit him in the face. No, give me back Tyler. Thank you. Sean, go get Strowman. Strowman's bust. Oh yeah, Austin has an elbow drop for Unique. They're unique if uh, you see a, like they have a golden glow and a star all around. That's how you can tell it's a unique move to them. Like Bailey has a special elbow drop off the top rope. I can't help him eliminate. He has to do it himself. He can't do two people at one time trying to eliminate one. Oh my god, we're about to have three big legends in the ring. Sean the Rock and Stone Cold. And like I said, yes, the game is glitchy. I mean, if you saw earlier when I eliminated Eddie Guerrero just by uh, body slamming him and he fell out of the ring somehow. Rock just came in. I can't. I can't have him stay. And Vince McMahon. Oh my God. These are these are some big rivals for Austin. Hey, Sean. I should have dated to Vince by this game. In. Look at Mr. McMahon, all jacked. Like, hey, buddy, I'm here. I don't allow leg slapping anymore in the business. Oh, Vince McMahon, damn it. There goes Sean. Oh, God. That's Vince. Oh, I can do that too. Oh, dear God. The slowdown because Vince brought out the damn motorcycle. Yeah, with uh, the brawler type. Hey, Roman Reigns. Currently, one of, if not one of, then the best thing going for SmackDown right now. Roman Reigns. There you go, buddy. Oh yeah, that's slow down. I got a guitar. How you like that, huh? I'll play a tune on your head. I'm gonna try to get a motorcycle. There it is. Oh, I don't get to keep it, but ring, ring, ding, 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 ding. I was playing my theme song on it. See, Roman just did the Superman punch. Jokes on him. I'm Stone Cold. Roman, back here. Gotcha! Ah, da da! Oh, Roman. And unfortunately, you cannot. I think you can't. I think you might have to use a special ability, but I don't think you do. You can't steal finishers in this, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Roman just got kicked out of point there. Austin giving out the stunner like he did to Brian Saxton last year. God. That poor man's balls. Man getting kicked in the grind by a stone cold. Ding! Oh! Hey, hey, it's that guy we have no idea what happened to. They fired his wife, but yet they kept him on SmackDown, and they're like, yeah, we're not going to have you on TV because we have nothing for you to do. But old Aleister Black, who, again, is a little disappointing. He doesn't have the black mask in this game. Said they give him some kind of generic big boot. They might have updated it, because I know they updated a whole bunch of uh, animations. Like, I'm very upset about uh, AJ Styles. It doesn't have the Phenomenal Forearm. It just has the Styles Clash, and they call it the Phenomenal Forearm, but he does it. Oh, nasty shot. That had to hurt. I know what you're thinking, too. What character has the best rating in the game? And believe it or not, I think it's tied between The Rock Brock Lesnar, I want to say. I could be wrong, though. Vince McMahon just gave Aleister Black the stunner. Let that sink in for a minute. Vince McMahon gave Aleister Black a stunner. Aw, oh, damn it, the rock recovered. I was trying to get. Damn it, Vince! Is that the way it's gonna be? Huh? Not Vinny Mac? I got a freaking motorcycle. Oh, they're all after me now. They're all after me. Form of submission. They're all after me. Not anymore. You missed, Rock. It's on you, Rock. You, oh, wait, you can actually hit me with Rock. Yeah, the Rock's finisher, and this is actually the people's elbow. He has the Rock bottom as a signature. Gotta get him out of the ring. Damn it. Wait, I can just toss his ass now. His life is basically gone. God damn it, Alistair Black, get... <sighs> Alistair Black, leave me alone. Go back to obscurity. Actually, no, come back. Come back to TV, man. 
And it, it is sad to like half the people that they have. They're like, yeah, we got nothing for you, so uh, we're not gonna use you. It's like, really? You got nothing? Oh look, there's the black mass. It's actually just a generic knee to the face. Looks like I'm gonna power up, but just gets his ass tossed out of the ring. I'm actually gonna eliminate Vince now. Baron Corbin, huh? King Corbin. He's not, well, no, he's not King Corbin in this game, I think. I do love some of the alternate colors in this one costume. Like Finn Balor has his NXT costume. Roman Reigns also has his NXT costume. Some of them are kind of disappointing here. Like I said, Austin has a vest with blue jeans or a vest with black jeans. What's up, Baron? Huh? I didn't think so. Hey, it's uh, TJ Salazar. He's a um, random ass character you play as in story mode. The high flyer. This alternate costume is to just put some mask on. Yeah, there's a. Uh, I know, I want to say at least maybe seven. There's three females, and I think four f four males that you play as in uh, the campaign. Just trying to break out. And they're, they're all, uh, they all have move sets of, um, there. of the types that you can be in this game, like Brawler, High Flyer. Speaking of High Flyers. Rey Mysterio. I fly power, technical, and uh, what's the other one? All round. In my opinion, I like to use the brawler and the all rounders. Uh, technicals, eh. And powerhouses, eh. And high flyers, eh. Rey Mysterio, what are you doing out there? That jumping out the sky. Are you why, Mysterio? My eye's gone. It's an eye for an eye, my friends. Well, I thought I had my spell. Oh, thank God. Mysterio, come here. Come here. I gotta do the Thunder Hammer to you. I gotta do the Thunder Hammer. Yeah, the Thunder Hammer! Whoop! This game does have some really sick stuff in it, though. Like, uh. That spinning, that throwing, spinning RKO. And I said I love the over the top. It's not as good as All Stars though. Really would like an All Stars too. Really would like an All Stars too. Hey, hey, stop running! That too, the high flyers are annoying to fight because they're the fastest types, and they'll just walk around the ring and you're trying to grab them, and it's like, come on, dude. Baron Corbin, recovery. Fine now. Combo kick. You know what they say. Oh, what up? Oh, also, there's an exploit to easily beat the computer on the hardest difficulty. I'm gonna show you. You do one, two punch grapple. Nine times out of ten, the computer will not reverse it. You can also do. One, two, punch, special grapple, which is on the right stick if you're playing on the PS3. Very easy. What the hell, man? Oh, Salazar is just like, yeah, I'm done. I'm done. I'm not done with you yet, though, boy. You come over and oh, oh, the high, the high flyers are ganging up on the bald man, huh? What's wrong? You guys got a problem with people with hair? Or without him? Huh? Yeah, Rey Mysterio. Get out of him! Corvin! We baldies have to stick together! Whoa! I can't believe it! Oh god, I need him. Oh, there's a big move by Baron Corbin. Bye, Corbin. You're gone. What the hell's that? Kira Tozawa? Salazar! Go get him! Use your special on Akira Tozawa. He's very dangerous. Go, go and get. Will you stop jumping around? It's funny, Akira Tozawa is actually a technical person. There it is! Finn Balor's finishing. Who's this? Edge? Edge is coming in? Oh my 
god, Edge is here! Damn it, Akira Tozawa, you come the damn way. The computer's really friggin' dumb in this. See, look at that. TJ Zalasar just walking in my way when I'm trying to get to Edge. I said I don't hate this game, but I will say some of the dumb sh in it. Look at that. Edge went to go after TJ Zalasar right after I'm punching him in the face. He's like, you know what? I'm done with you, Stone Cold. I'm going to go after TJ Zalasar. I should just toss TJ out of the ring right now. Stone Cold Stunner. It's also really nice to hear him all and all again. In my opinion, besides JR right now, who JR still stumbles over his own words, you know, calling Kenny Omega recently the WWE Champion. Morrow was just so great. Yes, he was corny with the whole pop culture references. And look at that, TJ Zalasar just comes right after me. Out of nowhere. Kevin Owens. I mean, yes, you got the whole Mamma Mia. Bye. And all his random pop culture references. And... Damn it. Like, you know, like, oh, he, he's losing this hard just like how hard the ticket sales drop for Fast and the Furious 9 starring The Rock and Roman Reigns and whatnot. Is that Jimmy or Jay? Jimmy Uso. This should be good. Which one's doing good right now? It's Jay, right? Jimmy's injured, right? Yeah, it's Jay Uso that's doing the uh, the hard handiwork for Roman Reigns there. Doing some of the best work of his career. It's going to be weird when the Usos get back together, though. Which I, uh, I believe I go on on record to say I think the Usos are actually one of the best tag teams right now in any company. They're actually really... Really good. Really, really good. Granted, the whole Oos oh thing got kind of annoying, but when they turned heel with the day one ish first, and then everything, when they changed their whole Samoan chant thing, got cooler. Yeah. By the way, a lot of characters' entrances are just copy and pasted from like TJ Zalazard and Bolo Reynolds and uh, Billy Huggins and. Jessica Johnson. Yeah, a lot of the wrestlers don't get their own specific entrances in this game. Stone Cold is one of the few. Oh. Oh, Kevin. Kevin. We have to stop Dolph Ziggler. He's going to team up with Otis after last year, what he did to him. Thanks, Otis. I mean, Dolph. Jesus, that knee! Hey, I got right back up. I don't sold it. Just, uh, just buying my time. Wait for the next person to come in. Drew McIntyre, who probably had... Well, I should say he did have one of his best careers last year. He was one of the best things in 2020 last year. Jesus Christ, he's huge in this game! Oh yeah, he's a powerhouse character, by the way, in this. Oh wow. It's like that glitch. Random ass glitch in which Drew McIntyre just fell out of my non attack that's not supposed to be. Whatever, but what it is. Same thing just happened to Kevin Owens. He just fell out of my attack. Because of Dolph Ziggler. Dolph Ziggler is a he's a game breaker. Uh, you know, I, I really like Dolph Ziggler, but it's just so hard to cheer for him anymore. And I do like the Dirty Dogs right now. That's funny. You know, he's still talented. He can still go, but... Like I said recently, he just teamed up with Otis. Why? After last year, what, what went on between him? Hey! It's that NBA dude coming in next. You thought it was Shad Gaspar because it looks like him, but no. No. That dude from the NBA 2K playground who has more unique moves than, say, Oscar. No, Oscar actually has more than him. 
He has more unique moves you know than half the roster on yet. the game. And he's free LC. So if you are just getting this game and you update it, he will be available for free. By the way, more games need Doink the Clown. I know he's not technically that great of a performer and whatnot, but Doink the Clown, I grew up with a little bit of Doink the Clown, and I love him. And uh, I think he's just a really great jobber to have in games because who doesn't like beating up clowns? And the whoopee cushion, probably one of the funniest moves ever. Always made a fart noise whenever he do it. Told me to do the thunder hammer and hit him with a squeaky hammer and did. Oh, I just took them both down. Drew McIntyre, no selling it. Oh, Dolph Ziggler doing his triple elbow. Watch him do the... Oh, this continuous elbow. Watch him do the last one. He's going to do like a flip. Whoa, okay, maybe not. <laughs> I got excited. Only one more person to come in, huh? Who could it be? Who could it be? Oh god, the reverse Alabama slip! I could have fell, fallen out of the ring right there because, uh, like I said, the game is very glitchy. Oh my god, the future shock DDT! Which, by the way, looks sick as hell in this. Granted, it's the same it looks in uh, All Stars, but my god. Get it. Aha! Damn it. Oh, but there, there's his finishing move. He slam dunks a basketball on your face, which is hilarious. He also has a uh, unique move in which he twirls you on his finger like a basketball, which is also hilarious. Who's last? Big E. Big E. Do not say the word Langston because I don't go by that no more. Look at the basketball guy. I think his name is actually Dylan, but they call him Liam, but they still call him Dylan Lillard in this. Don't know why. Get out of here. Like I said, I'm all for uh, guest characters and whatnot in games. Hell, Fred Durst is one of my favorite. Oh my god. Oh my god. He just booted the piss out of Dolph Ziggler. This is it. Could he go all the way? I should have went to the Rumble Arena. Oh, I have to create the Rumble Arena. There's a mini Rumble on Raw. We have to weaken him to get him out. Elbow drop! I missed! Oh, it's the Stone Cold! Stunner! I don't know why I said it like that. It's gonna take more than that to put Big E down, though. I toss him the ropes. hey -ya! That's right. Come at me, bro. Ha! Ha! You can't stop the block! You can't stop the Stone Cold! By the way, fun fact, when this game first came out, remember my entrance in which Stone Cold came out of a giant iceberg? He originally didn't come out of that. He came out of a, uh, box. They updated that. One of the, uh, patches. Just like, uh, like I think, uh, Undertaker was the only one to come out of a special thing before the uh, update when the game was first released. Wham! We blocked it. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, there's a special splash from Big E. Joke's on him though. Alright, we gotta give him another stunner. And now, Big E, I hate to say this, well, you're going out this way. That's game. The only man to win three Royal Rumbles in WWE thus far, because I think they will break that one day. I think they will let somebody else win three. But anyway, my friends, my subscribers, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this little special 316 day video for 316 Stone Cold Steve Austin in the Royal Rumble my name is Clinker Roth I thank you all so much for watching and you know what Stone Cold take us out of here buddy
And that's the bottom line. Call Stone Cold Simpson.